dailies, bringing it back as much as I can. Here we go. Divine guidance number five. Things are going to be changing. You want to be paying attention to this because um, we've been messing around for too long or we've been playing out the same lesson over and over and over again. It's time to move on. So this is sort of, in this case, I feel like it's a little bit of a forced, it's like divine intervention. It's like, okay, you're not getting this. So let me just help you along. <laughs> so get ready for that. Divine Guidance, Archangel Sandalfin. So this is going to be done in a very balanced way. Okay. I'm joking when I say like, it's not like, it's not like a tower moment. I don't think. I hope not. Um, it's a very balanced, harmonious kind of change. But you might still have a hard time accepting it, whatever the change is. So feel that out today. See what's going on there for everyone. It's going to be different. Of course, if you want a personal reading, angelsouls444.com. Uh, now, as of the recording of this, I have a discount code up. That is Black Friday 30. You will get 30% off of a standard reading. I don't know when you're going to see this. So if you try to use that code and it don't work, it's done. Okay, it's done. But if you're following me on social medias, I put codes up all the time because I learned how to do it on Squarespace. And then I was like, this is fun. Everyone gets so excited for a hot deal. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, Archangel Sandalfin, the search for meaning in life. Well, now I feel we're making a joke. We just it was so serious. Uh, the search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends like you're not you're not happy with how things are going and that's okay because it is time for a shift maybe you just didn't know how to get that going you didn't know how to implement that but again this very supportive balanced harmonious kind of way that's how you want this okay so if you're looking for drama this isn't your gig okay this would be let me give some examples this would be waking up and realizing oh my gosh i'm with someone I'm not meant to be with and having that internal process as to why because if you're a narcissist watching this you're not going to have a healthy response to that because you're not healed so you're going to like be like this isn't the person I'm meant to be with because they don't just give me my way all the time that's not what we're talking about we're talking about people who are probably dating the narcissist <coughs> and waking up and going I tried to be medicine for you and it's to my own detriment and it's not my duty to save you. There is a little bit of a soul contract thing that's coming through right now that some people do is they occupy space next to what we keep calling a narcissist. Okay. Spirituality, we would just call them <laughs> some other choice words um, that we don't want to put that kind of frequency in this reading. So we'll just keep calling them narcissists. I know people roll their eyes at that, but tough. Get mad, stay mad. Uh, but <laughs> people will occupy a space next to someone like that so no one else is affected. How do you know if you're in one of those spots? You're the scapegoat. You're the scapegoat. Now, some people are going to have a hard time with me saying that because they're going to say, oh, that's just making up an excuse, you know, to have someone there and make them feel like a hero and maybe encouraging someone to stay in that position. No, I, I don't encourage you to stay in a position like that whatsoever. But if it helps you understand like what, what could be a layer of why I'm here, there's a lot that goes into that. Low self-esteem, having your own soul lessons to learn. But there could also be sort of like, well, if I'm here standing guard, like I know this sounds so weird, but I'll, I'll absorb this so nobody else has to. Again, I know that's weird and it's going to be controversial that I'm saying that. But I think that can be one layer of reason why some people go into that. Sit with it before you freak out. Think about what I'm saying before you freak out. Okay. Um, this might be something that you're waking up to. And you start to realize, I don't need to be the punching bag. I don't need to absorb this. I can go off and live a healthy life. And if you know energy work, you can still send energy that person's way so that every time they try to harm someone, it's a huge failure. Because if we're talking about universal laws, 
Okay, you have the right to defend yourself. You just don't want to cause any harm. So you can deflect, but you're not supposed to be on the offensive. <coughs> now, there are going to be lots of you out there who practice certain things. And you're like, that's the biggest bunch of who we have ever heard in my life. You do you, all right? But what I'm letting most people who would be attracted to this video know, you have a right to defend yourself. And that means that if you, you're not interfering with someone's free will, but you are just saying no harm to anybody, no harm to anybody. You can do a return to sender on energy, not to fight someone, but if someone's trying, you know when it's unjust, okay? If you're a healthy-minded person, you know when something's not cool and someone's just trying to get at your energy. You can seal off your energy field. You can ask for protection for others. It will be up to their soul to accept that protection or not. I hope that makes sense. So you can go ahead and do that. I think that's good enough for today. Again, angelsouls444.com. This does tend to be a busy time of year. People are getting their 2025 year overviews or they're buying readings for other people as holiday gifts. So I wouldn't wait because we go right into Valentine's Day and it becomes a whole thing. So <laughs> if you get in line now, you have your best shot. So we'll leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.